in the trade, it's called a tech coat. Just make it tacky. <laughs> well, Mal just makes it tacky anyway. Yeah, <laughs> I've got that natural ability to make everything tacky. <laughs> sunshine as well, so that's good. Sunshine. Always a bonus. Cairns nice and warm. Planks nice and warm. I'm nice and warm. Oh, I'm going to spray this baby So we start off by just giving it a dust coat. Don't forget the underside. Oh, mind the lens. Mind the camera, yeah. Mind the lens. <laughs> Leave that for like five minutes. Let it all go off and then we'll give it a good thick coat. So now our tack coat is tacky. <laughs> Give it a good coat. Here's a little tip for you budding YouTubers out there. Always make sure when you're spraying paint that your camera is upwind from the paint. Lesson <laughs> as, learned. As Rebecca's just found <laughs> out. Oh, that's so what I'm doing, rather than painting the whole thing as a whole, rather than try and spray it as a whole, in my mind, I'm doing one section at a time. So I'll do this part here first, and then this runner, and then this runner, and now the back part. So the paint around where the bolts go through. Okay, so, so it's extra layer of Give paint it a bit of an extra on that. So he's learning people from his first installation. The top side dry I'll simply flip it over and paint the underside so if you see the section like that the, the corner edge I'm spraying this this edge I'm aiming towards that corner rather than directly on on it I think the only time you want to worry about VOCs is when you're inside stuff yeah. you use on the outside of your van you're not going to be VOCs aren't that big of an issue because you're not going to be breathing them in now because this is the underside this is the side that's going to be against the van I want to make sure I give it a really good thick coat and let that dry and give it another good thick coat because once this is this is attached to the van you're not going to be able to get to this you're not going to be able to see it but the other side if the other side does get scratched or damaged you can always touch it up because it's on the exposed side and plenty of time to make the coffee and drink the coffee let's do that next That's a hint. <laughs> afternoon well we are going to fit the wheel carrier now and mel is just about to move the van for me and we are going to get it turned around because we need the van to be opposite way round. yeah oh. it's got a clutch oh, it's not an automatic i'm not used to that <laughs> <laughs> don't crash my van oh i think the best way because that's in the way that's in the way yeah, you might want to reverse I'll back onto Lynn. Oh, really? Go there. And then she, won't she won't mind. So we go. So what we're doing is we're making sure that the van is downhill so that the doors don't bash into the lights because this is what Mel learned from his install is that the doors need to be away from the vehicle when you're fitting the wheel carrier when you cut the bolts. So here's my baby in action. It's so cute! <laughs> We're using the Jackery solar panel because Rebecca's solar panel's got a little bit of a problem. So we're just using the Jackery panel, which is up there on the roof, so I can't show you. <laughs> it's all the way up there. <laughs> because Jackery are very kind. Mel's having trouble getting the light out. It's stuck. It's it won't stuck. come out. It doesn't want to move. ...with the sensor stuck guy that's been coming around knocking on doors. So this is about half an hour later from that first segment that you just saw. It just doesn't seem to want to pop yeah i want to pop this cherry <laughs> <laughs> there's like a little plastic thing like that that goes over like that and it's supposed to just pop off like that oh, okay so you can pop them out that way or that way in my experience they come out easier that way but yours seems to Not but i've never worked to. on a crafter before 
And that'll spread the load. It mm -hmm. won't put so much load in one place. That's it. Like an elephant wearing high heels. I was taught in physics, though, that it was all that pressure, all that weight on one little point. Like an elephant wearing high heels. In physics? Yeah. Mm. Posh. See, I only use posh. I could do physics, I couldn't do maths. Oh, there she goes. That scared me then. <laughs> there goes that elephant. That's three, there's one there, one there, and one there. Okay. Here's a little tip for your viewers rather than force it with a screwdriver, this very small area cracking the glass, use a large area, like Rebecca says, elephant wearing high heels. And so what's this then? Elephant wearing skates. Oh right, okay. There you go. All intact, all in one piece. No broken grommets. Yeah. Thank me later for that little tip. Yeah, Mel's always so go. good at doing this tips. Just one little plug here. You push these push these in. Alright. Oh, and then yeah. it releases it and pulls it out. Oh, cool. This we should now put in a safe place. Yeah. So we will do our best. <laughs> I hate this bloody boy. <laughs> Mel fall flat on his face. Poor guy. So give Mel a thumbs up for that extra bit of stunt work that he wasn't planning to do. Don't use one of these with a camera around because the sparks that come off this stick to glass like. Now Mel's last video when he did in his install of his wheel carrier, loads of people have been saying why did he have to take this middle bar out? So I'm going to pass it over to Mel. Allow me to digress. <laughs> right, now you'll notice this hinge is facing this direction. The door is facing that way. So if we were to bolt our wheel carrier on this hinge, when the door is shut, you'll notice the hinge is now parallel with the door. This part of the hinge here and this part of the hinge here operate at different angles. I'll open the door, you stay there. Watch out what happens when I open this door. So now this is bending away from the door, you see. So yeah. we need to stop that. We just want to use this part of the hinge, not this. So by cutting that tie rod, it stops this from moving. When we bolt the wheel carrier to this hinge, and to the door, this all becomes one. If that wheel carry was bolted to this now, it would damage the door because that's pretty much at a, yeah, at a right, angle. right angle. So there you go, people, that's why. And it's quite a long way of explaining and hard to explain as well. So that's why we haven't put the response on a lot of comments. You should always wear gloves and safety glasses. Oh, I've got gloves on and these are special glasses. <laughs> Over here. Battery's going a little bit flat. Oops. As you're grinding it, it, the metal comes down and it it pinches pinches the blade and snaps the blade. A bit of the blade flies off, hits you in the jugular, and you bleed out within minutes. Be careful when using these. Let's not do that. It actually happened to somebody. Did it? Yeah, my local's breakers yard. <gasps> blade broke. Oh my god! Yeah, died in the breakers yard. Oh. Watch that. Watch the crack. Look, see how it pinches? Ah, uh, yeah. If that pinches onto the angle grinder blade, it will snap the blade. See? So you keep, have to keep the you weight, have to keep weight away. The right. Yeah. So that's a good tip again for people for safety. And in my video, people actually took the mickey out of me because I said you need someone that knows what they're doing with an angle grinder. That's That one. is why I try to overemphasize the safety aspect of it. Yeah. Or rather, Mel is following the installation instructions from Williams. He's not making this up. You have to be very specific on your installation. So now these are off. Now I've cut that in half by doing an angle cut, but we don't want to leave them on there, so we need to cut these off. As far back these, as possible. Yeah. He's thinking about whether or not he's going to set fire to my curtain. I'm thinking whether or not. Oh, right, there you go. That's, that's just got left this little bit here now. It's a bit you removed. Yeah, Sorry, cool. I removed. You removed, yeah. <laughs> Cut that okay. piece out, the door's going to be all floppy. That's why I took the lens out because there is a chance the door could hit that lens and, smash and destroy it. So we don't want to do that. 
I'll tell you what we need. What? The box from my wheel carrier. Ah, yeah, okay. But that's a video to come, by the way. I'm just gonna go and get some cardboard and some sticky tape. I have to go and get some sticky tape now. A knife you need. Bit of Gorilla Tape. So he's making sure that there's no way that the filings can get in behind that board. So he's just pinned it really closely down. And there's the second bit. Boink. Isn't he a pro? We'll have some little Flex. Bits of flex from the um, angle grinder, but I've tried to keep it an angle so that it was going away from mm -hmm. the G3. Cleaning. No, I won't get it off because it, it melts to the paint. Oh, okay. Need some G3 to wipe it off. Okay. But your van's covered in it anyway. Yeah, from so. um, when I had my windows done and my incorrect skylight, so um, I've already got used to that already. Oh, yeah, that's it. So now, now these tie rods, I shall demonstrate how floppy the door is. Yeah. Okay. This is why we put the door up here. You can see how close that is now. If the glass was still there... It would be closing in onto it. It would, definitely. Yeah. Look at the huge gap between behind this hose here. How much it goes in and out and pivots. Now what we do is simply put the wheel carrier in place. Very nice wheel carrier, nicely painted for some really nice chap. Yep. Give me a thumbs up down below if you've got this far in the video. <laughs> <Are you sure? laughs> Give me a thumbs up down below. <laughs> Where, Mrs? Where? It's only you that would say that. <laughs> Sorry. Oh dear, you bring out the little schoolboy in me. I do. And there we have it. We've got you in the right place now. You where we need you. So we are coming up to 27 minutes on the install and it probably would be a little bit quicker for this for you guys if you've got everything ready. But we're just showing you exactly how long it will take. Put it in the camera there because I won't be able to see nothing that's going on. Oh, what, we're fitting it from that side. side. <laughs> we're going to move you then. <laughs> Now I've fitted my wheel carrier all on my own because Rebecca was working. So it seems like this is Rebecca's van, she helped me. Yes, I can be handy. Yeah, the sticky pads are really helpful because they stop the back of the metal rubbing against your door. Um, they are actually just furniture pads, so... Well, hello, good morning again. We actually had to abandon our fitting yesterday because we got so many people stopping by and wanting to chat. My neighbours are very lovely, but you do get hindered quite a bit when they want to see what the progress is. So anyway, we decided to shut up shop and start again this morning. So Monty's in his house having a little sleep. And also you'll notice the van has been turned round. Yes, we turned it round so that we can hide at the back of the van <laughs> and not be at the front of the be road. Be careful what you say because your neighbours watch their videos. Yeah, that's true. But they are lovely neighbours, don't get me wrong. Yeah, we love you all, but we just want to get it done. Today yeah. we had about two and a half hours all in all of everyone stopping and chatting, so. Oh, and we have to say hi to the guy that does the sensor. Oh the yeah, yeah. If you haven't filled in your census form, get on and do it, otherwise you oh, get well, fined. You'll get a knock at the door. Yeah. I'm going to be drilling a hole here to attach this. I mean... Yeah, you can, see it, you can see it moving. It doesn't take any of the weight. No. I reckon you could probably get away with using double-sided sticky stuff. If I was to fit one of these again, I would have a go at putting sticky stuff. The battery's going flat. <laughs> Might have to use your posh drill, love. Okay, we'll get that sorted. So if I move the camera up inside, this first little panel, look, that's where Mel's coming through, that little hole there. So you only need access to this one little section. And he's through. We're through at last. 
and I'll just put a little bit of paint on it to stop it going rusty. I know it's not looking pretty, but it don't really matter because it's on the inside of the door. Just because it's going to run if you put too much on, as you can see, it's running a bit. Yeah. Just, uh, I'm going to pretty much fill the hole up like that and then yeah. poke. Poke the bolt through. Hello. So <laughs> I can there see a blob now between the wheel carrier and the door. So you're squishing it with fingers, both front and back? Yeah, so then it goes in that gap. Look, if you look down the gap, see the gap there? So uh, now you can yeah. see it's in that gap. Yeah. You might be able to see, you might not. Show us your fingers. Yeah. I'm a dirty boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry about me. So what size bolt is it? Um, 17 mil socket. 17 okay. mil spanner, 10 mil bolt. 10 mil and bolt. it's nice and sealed. Nothing worse than having a dirty tool. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta wipe them clean after every use. Have a clean tool. Anyway, as I was going to be saying, there's the bolt on the inside and it's completely and thoroughly masticked as well as painted so that ain't going nowhere and there's no way that there's going to be any water in Don't either going on. and panel's going to go back on now this morning whilst you were tucked up cozy in bed i took the liberty of putting your locking wheel nuts on your vein oh did you yes Oh, isn't he a sweetie? Which means you've got four bolts left Ooh. over. Oh, Two of these bolts. And do we your nifty them. trick. Yes, my nifty trick. Now, some people said on my video, they said, oh, you didn't take the bolts out because I put the bolts in from the back to the front so that when you put the spare wheel on you've got something to line it up with you don't take the bolts out you leave them in place so you put these bolts through from the back and i used to do this when i built kit cars you don't have to struggle yeah when you, when you undo these other four nuts the yeah, four the... bolts that hold the wheel on pla in place when you undo those well, yeah, the, the wheel, wheel would just fall off yeah so with those in place it stops it happening <laughs> i'm simple well, I always say, keep it simple. Yeah, keep, keep it, it safe. safe. Yeah. Yeah. It's safer than dropping that really heavy wheel on your foot. The reason I'm having to use a ratchet is because I feel the paint to fit up the paint. Kit cars, campers, Volkswagen campers. Yeah. So all these little nifty tips, they actually make a huge difference. I mean, look, so look at that, you've got that much to be able to put your wheel onto. You could even put a little bit of paint on them if you like. Yeah, let's do it. Mind a camera. Blend them in. Like that. Try not to get the paint on your head. Yeah. Talking about spare wheels, what have you done with your spare wheel? Uh, I've got the keys as well. Yeah, he's got everything of mine. He's taken over. I swear, he's oh, taken over. Work there he is. Oh, sounds like someone's back. Some people also commented on my last video that little urchins are going to nick my spare wheel. No, they're not. Because I'm using four locking wheel nuts. Not just one, four. <laughs> M14X150. We can link them down below. Oh, Bob. Oh, stressful. There's the wallpaper. Stressful. Why? Was it a big pattern? Big pattern wallpaper, it's always yeah. pain. Very difficult, but anyway, I got it done. Well, we knew you would. Because you're Bob the Builder. Hey? You're Bob the Builder. Oh, yeah. No job too hard. No. Oh, you're not recording, are you? Yeah. Oh. Always recording, Bob, you should know that. <laughs> did, it, uh, did it go on all right? Literally yeah. two seconds. See, I put the wheel nuts from the original wheel nuts from the van in from that side. So when you lift the wheel on, you've got something to balance so it. That you hoik it onto them. Hoik it on. Yeah. Hoik it on. Hoik it on. Well, I can see because you'd have a job to hold that up. Yeah. yeah. 
see how easy that is. Ah, right. right so what I've yep. done, I've put because we've I've put locking wheel nuts on Rebecca's van, and the nuts that come off, I have put in here through the other way. And they'll stay permanent. They'll stay there permanently. Oh, will they? So when you put the wheel on, oh, they you... thread in anyway. Yeah, yeah. So they can't. No, they can't oh. come out because oh. it's threaded through. Oh, I see. So now, when you go put this wheel on, you've got something to locate. Ah, uh, that would be very. It. That would be very difficult to do without that. Imagine trying to do yeah. that without those two nuts. And the, and the weather and, and the weight. Yeah. So you're not going to hurt yourself. I tell you what, you'd never do it, would you? I suppose you would, but maybe you. You'd struggle on your own. You would. Yeah, it's brilliant. That's a brilliant idea. Whichever one, you've got no weight. You're not holding the weight at no. all. You're not holding the weight of the wheel, see. No. So do you like that hack, Bob? What uh, would you rate it? What? Out of five stars. Of what? The, the hack. The, the, the idea wheel. of doing that. Five out of five. Yeah, yeah but what I mean is, though, it will surely help a lot of people. Yeah, that's the idea. Yeah. I share my wisdom with other yeah, people. I do as well. Still have to wiggle it about a bit to get well, them to line up. Look. Well, you do with it, putting the wheel on anyway. Yeah. So there you go. Put another two in there. So is that the locking nuts? Yeah. These are locking nuts. Well, all of them. Yeah, all four. Oh, all four. Yeah. How can you get? Oh, you take. So there's no locking nut on the main wheel now. On these wheels, yeah. Oh, there is. Yeah, I bought two sets. sets. Got two sets of ah. locking wheel nuts. Right, now I'm with you. Yeah. No one's going to nick your tyres. Oh, and it's a rubber. No, no, no. It won't damage the van. No, no, but it still works. Yeah. yeah. But when the door's shut, the weight is on the mechanism of the door. So when it's closed, it's on that. It the pins on the top hinge and the bottom hinge. Ah, so, so now ah. the weight isn't just on those no, hinges. No, no, no. So it's looking a bit grubby, but what we're going to... Me or the wheel? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've got a bit it's grubby. It's debatable. We'll have to smarten you both up. I'm not sure about Mel. So we're going to get a cover for this wheel and Mel will tell you all about that very soon as well. Yeah, I've got something under my hat for that. Yeah. So stay tuned. We'll see you next time. Don't forget, give this video a thumbs up. Give Rebecca a thumbs up. Subscribe to her channel. <laughs> and we will see you in the next one. In the next video. Bye. Take two. I wanted to bring that guy with the chitty chitty bang bang when he takes all the junk into the shed and comes out with a car. miracle. Yeah. <laughs> this drill bit is absolutely blown his ass on. Fuck. And the weight. Yeah. The weather. <laughs> the weather didn't make any difference. Well, it was, if it was raining. If it was raining, you just imagine trying to hold that.